in. So one, one branch is this. Another branch would be that group. And the final branch would be this one right here. If we're thinking about a 10 carbon chain that's that C shape. If, in contrast to that, we consider the 10 carbon chain across the top of, top of the molecule, if you do that, the carbons that are in the chain are the ones along here, and so in that case, you only have this one single side chain right here. So our choices are three side chains with red or one side chain with blue. It's going to be the red one that wins. Then what do we do after that? Now we actually do know which chain we're going to use to name this molecule. Go for it. Numbering. So you have to pick the numbering that gives you the lowest number in the molecule. So we could either start at this position, at the upper right, and number it from 1 through 10. Or we could start at the atom we just numbered 10, call that one 1, and number around the opposite direction to get to 10 at the upper right. So those are your two numbering directions. So if we do that, let's say we uh, take the second choice first. So we're going to start at the lower carbon. So that's carbons 1, 2 has a methyl off of it. Carbon 3 has an ethyl off of it. And carbon 4 has this propyl group. Okay, so one set of numbers lead to 2, 3, and 4. And if we go the other way, call the upper right atom 1, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to have the propyl at 7, the ethyl at 8, and the methyl at 9. Okay, so your numbering possibilities are 2, 3, 4, or 7, 8, 9. Okay. So that's pretty obvious which one you choose. And now all you have to do is put together the name. So I'm going to show you the name so we should talk about what the rules are here. So you're going to take, and you're going to use that to root for your name, that longest chain. 10 carbon chain, which is decane. Fantastic. So it's one of the hydrocarbons you memorized over the weekend or last week. Okay, so the longest chain is decane. That's going to be at the end of the name. And then in front of that, we're going to put the branches, the substituents off the chain. We're going to list those in what order? Alphabetical order, right. So we're going to put them alphabetically, and then we put whatever number matches with that substituent out in front. So we have a methyl group, an ethyl group, and a propyl group. So it's going to be ethyl, methyl, propyl in terms of the listing. And the ethyl is at 3. So 3-ethyl, three 2-methyl, 4-propyl. And there is the name. Other than punctuation, which is the only thing we didn't talk about right there, putting in the hyphens in between numbers and letters and commas if you happen to have two numbers beside one another, 
That's all there is to it.